after almost spending two weeks in a remote village in Montenegro, bonding with the locals, exploring the lake, going wine tasting at the largest vineyard in one complex inside an old Yugoslavian bunker, we headed to the coast again, to Tibet. We spent time swimming in the ocean till late at night, walked past the super yachts in amazement in Porto Montenegro, and had our first very bad Airbnb experience. Tivat is the smallest municipality in Montenegro. It's situated in the Bay of Kator, very close to the Tivat airport, and on the other side of the mountain of Kator. We just got into our new place for the next two weeks in Tivat, Montenegro. Shops is closed on Sunday, so we can't get basics for the week, which sucks. So we'll have to do that on Monday, which I hate doing that on a Monday, but it's okay. We found a route to the beach and the food, which goes through a graveyard. While traveling the world for the past few months, we've really seen the neglect of stray animals. So for every new subscriber, we feed a stray animal. You can also donate a meal by visiting www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Ginfo Travels or sponsor Stray Animal for sterilization and other medical treatments. I'm still waking up at 5 a.m. and then I decided I'm gonna swim. So after my run, like I literally ran into the beach, took off some of my clothes and just jumped into the water and swim and it was amazing. Swimming like 6 a.m. in the ocean, quiet. So it has not been the greatest of two days. And I feel like Airbnb just really failed us. Like we've been staying full time in Airbnb for four months now. And like really good reviews from us and to us and stuff. And they're just, we are really not difficult people. Like I'm not the cleanest person necessarily. And I don't even often see like, you know, it doesn't really bother me that much. But there were like things growing out of the kettle. The coffee cups had like coffee stains all over them. The floor was full of coffee mugs. It was dirty. I had to wash my feet walking through the apartment because it was so dirty. The, the, like everything is sticky. It was just, it was really gross. And um, then there was a spider web in the couch and the shower barely worked. I went to bed Sunday night and I was like, things are crawling on me. I can feel bugs crawling on me and biting me. Woke up full of flea bites, bug bites. I don't know, bites of some hoha. And the internet barely works. Wi Fi is also very bad, and the woman keeps harassing me to go draw $50 to pay a deposit because she's scared we steal her router that doesn't work. She was like, oh my goodness, I didn't know it's like that. She's in Russia. I don't think she's been to the flat for like a year. It's been standing closed for a year. Didn't have, really have time to get somebody to come and clean it, apparently. Mm, said she's gonna send cleaners at 12 o'clock. Nobody comes. Two o'clock, nobody comes. Four o'clock, two other Russian ladies arrive, super friendly, and they like, this place is dirty. And I show them my legs, and they like, catastrophe, catastrophe, and they phone her back. They're like, listen, these people can't stay in this place. It is dirty. This girl is being eaten by fees. So from the morning, I've been talking to Airbnb, and I'm like, hey, situation in my Airbnb isn't great. What, what, what's gonna happen? They're like can't help you, you have to wait for a support ambassador. Every like three hours I message them and I'm like, hey, the one guy told me, well, if you don't like the place, then leave. We paid two weeks in advance 
for this place. Didn't have enough time to get a new place for the next day because we have to pack up, get a taxi, and it was like late. Airbnb doesn't take bookings that late anymore. I don't know why I'm still using Airbnb, to be honest. Book a new place, so that's like a whole month of extra money. Here at nine o'clock, somebody messages me. He's like, hi, I'm your support ambassador from Airbnb. How can I help? I send him photos. I'm like, this is a situation. He's like, I'm so sorry to hear about this. Please send me photos of the bed bugs. I'm like, how do I send you photos of the bed bugs? Anyway, so I also send him pictures of my legs being eaten alive. Like, yeah. And he's like, guess what he says to me? He says, my shift is ending now. I have to leave. One of my other colleagues will call you contact you it's the next day it's been 24 hours since I started with it nobody has contacted me again so I go on to cancel it they say great you can cancel it you will get a zero rand refund just to cancel I go through to it you know hopefully the process will bring the money back or whatever and they say sorry you're unable to cancel this booking so I can't cancel this booking we're leaving maybe Airbnb will pay for my funeral if I don't have any body parts left anymore because of all the itches it's Thursday, we moved out of Airbnb on Monday and we've gotten zero support from Airbnb. No refund, they didn't even reply to our messages. It is the most frustrating thing ever. Like, message them, email them, everything. After about three tedious weeks, we finally got our money back after a lot of fighting. But in the meantime, we booked into a really, really nice Airbnb, which is normal. It's clean. There's a bedroom that smells so clean that I can't imagine having bugs. Also, I think this place has fiber. One thing that's weird though about Europe is no place has a microwave and I really want to make my microwave popcorn. I've been carrying around for like a month now. It is a bit further from the beach though. It's like a five minute walk, which I guess is fine. But the other one was like a one minute walk. It is 7.30 p.m. on a Friday afternoon and we decided to come down to the beach to have dinner and maybe swim and it is so nice. Kids are swimming and it's boats and people on jet skis and it's like literally 7.30 p.m. and it's so nice. <laughs> Just like such a different lifestyle. Like kids are literally swimming here to like 9, 10 p.m. at night when it's dark and they just swim and then go home and whatever. It's it's so nice. But we are dead. It's been a long week. I've woken up at 5 a.m for eight days now in a row. Today morning, I was so tired, I fell asleep on the couch um, at like 8 a.m. Because um, I think when you wake up at five, you have to go to bed earlier. But I still end up going to bed late. Just because at night, in the morning, you're like, I promise, I promise myself that tonight I'm gonna go sleep early. And then the night comes and you're like, ah, it's 10 p.m. No, I'm like on a roll now. I'm gonna finish this stuff and then, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna help a stray animal, please click on that subscribe button that will help feed one more stray animal. Next week, we go to the north of Montenegro to the largest canyon in Europe, swim in icy, icy water from a glacier and visit a very spiritual and special place, Ostrog Monastery. Thank you for watching.